Hey guys, uh, this is Rich again for another edition of Learning with Rich. Alright, so in this topic, this is actually the last topic in this uh, discussion about the Navisworks Manage Timeliner. Okay, so in this exercise, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to teach you how to add animation to your Timeliner. Alright? So that is what we are uh, going to do in this exercise. So we're going to add animation to our timeliner, okay? So basically what you need to do, of course, you need to open your Navisworks project and <clears throat> make sure you already included or you already created the task, you already added the date. Oh, sorry, I <laughs> selected Clash Detective. So... I'm going to open the timeliner, so make sure all of these are already set, it's already configured, you already tried that uh, simulating. So what we are going to do for this exercise is, like what I've said, I'm going to create an animation, and then after that, I'm going to incorporate that animation in my timeliner simulation. Alright? So are you ready? Alright, so let me just start, stop this first. Let me just close my timeliner here. There you go. Okay. So what I'm going to do is, so I'm going to save the uh, viewpoints. If you still remember, I created a video on how to create an animation in Abyssworks by saving the viewpoints. Well, that is actually what we're going to do. We're going to save viewpoints and then we're going to create an animation from that. Okay, so to start with, so let's say this is my, uh, this is, let's say, my start point. Okay, this is my start point. And then after that, from the viewpoint tab, okay, I'm going to select saved, save viewpoint. Okay, right? You can call this, let's say this is my first scene. So I'm just going to type one. There you go. And then after that, I'm going to orbit. So probably let me just zoom in this portion here. Okay, again, I'm going to save the viewpoint. I call that 2. Okay, so I'm going to pan my drawing, try to orbit, pan. Okay, this is my viewpoint number 3. Okay, so I right click again, zoom out a bit, orbit, pan, save. Oops, all right, so save viewpoint. That's my four viewpoint, fourth viewpoint. I'm gonna pan, all right, so you can zoom in also to see it closely. Tilt a bit, okay, and then I'm going to save this viewpoint. That's my fifth one, okay. I'll try to orbit, pan, zoom out, okay. Then that's my sixth. I orbit again. All right, save viewpoint. This is my seventh. You can zoom in. You want to look closely. All right, then save again. This is my eighth. Zoom out, orbit. Okay, so save. That's my ninth. Okay, then for my tenth, it's my tenth. Save ten. All right. Okay. Then after that, so how to create the animation? So after you save all the viewpoints that you want, you just need to right click at the blank space on your saved uh, viewpoints window. Okay. So you just need to right click. And then after that, you can select your add animation. Okay, so let's say I'm going to put here for timeliner. Then enter. There you go. And then after that, what you can now do is you need to place all of these viewpoints under the timeliner. So what I'm going to do is I'll select timeliner number one. Hold the shift to select all the time uh, to select all the viewpoints and then you just need to drag it under the timeliner there you go so it's now under the timeliner or is it 
Mm. Yeah, so that's one. So it's now under the timeliner. So if you are going to go to the viewpoint for the timeliner, you can actually play that. Let's check out how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. So this is the one that we are going to incorporate to our uh, timeliner later on. So let us just take a look how it looks like. So this is how it looks like. All right. Okay. See? Okay. Of course, you can also pause. You can also stop. <laughs> okay. All right. So after... <clears throat> After we create our animation, so let us now go back to our home tab and then I'm going to select the timeliner. There you go. So this is what we are going to do. So from the simulate tab, I'm going to select here the settings. Okay. And then let's say all of this are already good for me. So what I'm going to do is this one. So this is the one that I need to change, the animation. So it says no link. Okay, so I'm going to link the save viewpoints animation that I just created. So I select. All right. Then after that, I select now. Okay. There you go. Okay, so I'm just going to stop now. I just closed the save viewpoints. All right, so let's see how it looks like. Okay, just adjust and then play. All right, so now you can see your animation in conjunction with your uh, timeliner sequencing. See? Cool, right? So you can now easily see how you create those slab columns framing. Okay, so there you go. So basically, that's how you add your animation to your timeliner. Okay? So hope this has been helpful to you guys. This is actually our last topic for the timeliner. So on our next topic, for our next uh, discussion, I'm going to discuss about the uh, quantification in Navisworks Manage. Okay, so don't forget to like my videos and subscribe to my channel. And thank you for watching. Have a nice day, guys. Bye.